I think Costa Rica is one of the only places left where you can actually own something and then you just actually own it, right? Yeah, but but um, I would have never gone to Costa Rica. I have a nightmare Costa Rica vacation story that will that will prevent me from ever going to Costa Rica ever again. <laughs> I had a, that's an that's an hour story, but maybe one day, you know. Give me the four. Uh, give me the fourteen second version of it. Damn. Okay. You know how you know how um, there's people that um, are. You got seven seconds this. left. There's people that are scared shitless of bugs. And yes. There's people that, that that'll pick up a big ass bug and, and you know, and hold it. And, you know, uh, I'm the kind of guy that's scared shitless of bugs, cockroaches, all that shit. I can't stand bugs. I hate bugs. I don't want to go to no fucking jungle. I ain't trying to go to no jungle. I like watching jungles on DVDs. Right. <laughs> but I ain't trying to I ain't trying to go to no fucking Amazon Anaconda. Yeah, I don't want that, that shit, shit crawling on me. In the jungle, everything's trying to kill you. Like right. the fucking ants. If the ant gets on you, it'll kill you. So I'm not trying to go to no jungle, but there's a lot of guys that are, I fucking love the jungle. It's a fucking adventure. I wish I was like that. I envy those people. So the people Costa that- Rica is just dripping with those kinds of animals. Well, I'm single. It's in like 2007. I'm as single as fuck. Um, I'm all over the world. All the time, I'm just out to have fun and party. And a, a couple buddy, uh, a buddy calls me, and he said, "Hey man, we're going to fucking Costa Rica this weekend. You should come with us. There's like 15 people. We got a bunch of chicks going. It's gonna be insane, bro. We got a mansion out there, dog. I got a friend who's got a mansion out in Costa Rica. Let's fucking go." And I'm like, "Hell yeah, let's go." So what happened? You're so you're holding me on the I'm cliffhanging. Head, I was thinking mansion. I was thinking Cancun. Right. Okay. Clean, dirty Cancun. outside the Tourist. fence, but but clean inside. Tourists, pools, Cancun. That's what I'm thinking. Costa sure. Rica, mansion. I'm thinking of like MTV backyard party. Sure. So I didn't ask any questions. Bunch of people are gone. I just got my ticket. And we met at the airport. We flew in. We landed in, in Costa Rica. And we landed in there. You know, their, I don't know if it's their capital or if it's a major city like San Pedro, I think, or San Jose. It's something like that in Costa Rica. So we land there. And that is, that is like a city. And it is kind of like a party town. So we land there. And like, oh, shit. So I thought we were there. So we land there. And we get a hotel. And we party. I'm like, where's the mansion? We go to the mansion tomorrow. I'm like, okay. So we party there that night. And it was, you know, we, it was like a party town. It wasn't a jungle. So, and then we're partying. The guys go, dude, dude, wait till tomorrow, bro. And we go to the mansion. I'm like, what's up? Because, dude, you're going to fucking freak, dude. It's amazing. I'm like, all right, okay. I go, we're cool here, though. We go, no, no, dude. And, and, and uh, we had to catch another flight to this fucking, I go, we got to, wait a minute, we got to go back to the airport? So we go back to the airport, get on a prop plane. There's like a prop plane. There's like 15 of us in there. It's like a small plane. It's crazy. I'm like, where the fuck are we going? Now I'm starting to worry because everybody was excited about it. Everybody's like, oh, my God, I can't fucking wait. The mansion and the coast. I'm like, what? I go, where is this fucking place? So we take off, dude, and we're going over the jungle, dude. I swear to God, I thought I was fucking in Jurassic Park, dog. We're <laughs> and I'm like freaking out, but I'm not trying to be a pussy. Right, right, right. I already had a girl, like a girl there that I was kind of talking to. I go, I'm going to that's going to be, you know, I'm going to. Maybe me and this girl would be hanging out on vacation in Costa Rica. Right. So I didn't want to sound like a big pussy. So I was like scared inside. Go, what the fuck? Are, where the fuck are we going? I go, dude, you wait till you see this fucking place. I'm like, oh, my God. Now I'm getting scared. But I don't want to say anything. I internalize it. Keep Why it are you getting myself. scared? Because it's in the middle of the jungle and a little further away from civilization in a weird country. Bugs, dog. Bugs. Oh, so that was it. You were literally afraid because bugs. we're going over a bunch of bugs. Bugs, dog. Okay, so Brian you're that Cal level. Told me a story about him being in a jungle in uh, the Philippines, and he said, "Dude, every bug wants to eat you. Everything. The ants. When you hear, aren't you got to avoid the ants? Army ants. Once they smell you out, you're fucked. You got to have your 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 tents like hanging on the trees. Right. You put all this shit around, and everything's trying to kill you out there." 
And how I'm do like, normal? I want to know how that. normal animals live out there like that. Like the warthog's just going to sleep on the ground, and the ants just get him, and he's like, "Fuck it!" Like I've already got, I got ant calluses. They tried to bite me in the same spot the last ten years, you know, or something. Like, what do they have? But so, yeah. what happened? You know what? I'm a big pussy. See, I I shouldn't be afraid of bugs like that. I'm one of those guys that if there's a fucking if I got jeans on and they're ripped at the bottom and in the corner of my eye and the perif, it looks like a a, a roach. I'll turn on the light in the kitchen and I think there's a roach near. I'll like jump up on the fucking counter. Ah, uh, uh, I they got I don't know if it was movies, if it was spider movies or whatever. They got me as a kid. I'm MK right. Ultra into being scared of, <laughs> of bugs, right? So we land on like in someone's fucking driveway dude, on a fucker. Like we land on someone's fucking like in the middle of the jungle. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? And I'm internalizing this shit. We get in a van and we're like going to the mansion. And but we're in a van going through a dirt road through the jungle. And everybody in there is like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, paradise. And I'm sitting there going, holy shit. What kind of bugs are in this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, but I'm t- internalizing it. So we, I'm freaking right, so you're, you're just saying this. You're trying to play cool in front of Cindy. We'll call her that. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and you're dude, just I like, no, it's no all person. good. Yeah, I'll oh, hold your hand. What am I, what just am I looking at say, dude, Like, what, what's up with the bugs? Everyone's so happy that they're there. I realized that I fucked up. So we're like, damn, we're going to stay here for five fucking days. In the oh, town. my God. So we get to. We get to the mansion. mansion. It was a mansion. And there's sure. a guy that stays there's old Vietnam vet, like fucking 75 years old. He's like the groundskeeper. What do you call those guys? Yeah, like, groundskeeper. Yeah. He just he, I've, he, I've he, seen he, horror. I've seen horror movies. It's groundskeeper. He, it's just like a horror movie. It's just like a horror movie. And this guy's like, you know, he's like the Yoda of the fucking uh, of the neighborhood. So there's there's a bunch of houses like that big ass fucking house. And it's right there on the beach. There's a beach, but the jungle goes right up to the, the jungle goes right up to the beach and up on the hill is this fucking big ass mansion. And there's like 15 of us staying there. There's all these rooms. Right. And then we get there. We get there in this van and the plan was to dr- go to our rooms drop off our suitcases and then immediately come back to the van because now we got to go to the ATV rental place because there's if you're going to stay there, you have to have your own ATV, you know, the right. four wheelers. Otherwise, you can't get around. You right. have to have those things. So that's it. You get there. We I go up to my room and as soon as I walk into my room, I notice that goddamn these houses aren't they're, they're, they're not built like American houses. They're not the walls, airtight. The walls, the walls don't right. meet the, the ceiling. Yes. There's a foot of open air. Cause Ugh. if you're going to, if you like Costa Rica, if you're going to live in Costa Rica, if you like vacation in Costa Rica, you have to be one of those people that right. don't mind bugs. Well, we just, bugs, you, you don't, don't do mind, that you're one of the people that doesn't need the separation between you and nature. Yes. They love right. the bugs. They're right. like, oh, bugs. They love, They don't give a fuck. They, like, are, camp, they are, like camping. They like doing all kinds of stuff. They're bugs outdoorsy. Ain't shit, yeah, bugs. Ain't, so I walk into my room. The walls aren't connected to the ceiling. It's open air, though. And it's a badass room. Big ass high ceilings. But there's like 40 motherfucking jungle bees <laughs> in my motherfucking room on the ceiling. Not two. Two would have freaked me out. Two would have freaked me out. One would have freaked me out. There was like 40. <laughs> so I just dropped my bags. So then I went downstairs. I went up to the old guy, the groundskeeper or the gatekeeper, whatever the fuck you call that shit. I said, there's bees in my motherfucking room. <laughs> and he said, oh, just put on uh, the ceiling fan on low. It'll make them uncomfortable and they'll leave. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I need a goddamn net. That's the one thing I people were talking about. Did you bring your net? You, who's got a net? You don't forget. Did you forget your net? I'm like, net? No one told me about no fucking sleeping net. And then the guy said, dude, you're going to need a sleeping net. You got to go to down to the when, once you get your ATV, you got to go down to the general store and get your ass. Off. There's no oh way my gosh. in these rooms. 
without a fucking sleeping net. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get fucking five of them, dog. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'll put one in every corner. <laughs> Dude, exactly to make this like a out. normal wall. <laughs> so we 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 uh we get in the van. Now we're gonna go back to uh we're gonna go rent our ATVs. So as soon as we get in the van, I fuck up and I let the pussy out. I said, we're all in the van. I'm sitting next to the girl that I like. And uh, I said, um, dude, do you guys have bees in your fucking room? And then someone's like, yeah, there's bees in my room. And then I'm like, and I'm like, dude, there was like 40 fucking bees in my room. And the guy said, just put the, the ceiling fan on low and it's going to make them uncomfortable and they'll leave. I go, what do you think about that? And then I kept on and on about the bees. And the girl that I like, she goes, OK, Captain B watch. We got it. Oh. And at that point. I never said shit. I never said, I never, I internalized everything. No one had any idea of the trauma that I was put through <laughs> for five the days of the store. So we get to the general store, we get to the general store and I'm like, where are you <laughs> fucking sleeping? That's dog. He goes, we're out. We're out. He goes, oh, you're like, awesome. Do you guys have an, a spare firearm I can purchase to shoot myself in the forehead? <laughs> you know what I did? I said, uh, the next best thing, I said, do you guys have off insect repellent? They go, yeah, I will fucking two or whatever. I went and I took the whole box, dude. I took all their shit. <laughs> I took all their shit. I cleaned them out. I took all their shit. And then once, once we got our ATVs and we went back, dude, I doused myself, dude. I put, it, it looked like I jumped in a pool of insect repellent. Oh. I'm not even kidding. Because that sun was going down, dog. And remember, you remember uh, from Dust Till Dawn? Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. Or like any fucking like vampire movie. When right. the sun goes down, dog. <laughs> fuck. So that's all I kept thinking. The sun's going. So I, as the sun was going down, we were going to hang out by the pool. The mansion had a pool and we're all hanging out. We're all, everybody's drinking. I'm internalizing everything. I'm not telling people. Sh I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, Everyone's you're literally going. plotting for, sur you're plotting for survival in your mind. Dude, I'm in my room just soaking myself in it, dude. I'm just fucking, dude. I'm, it looked like I jumped in a pool for real. I walk out, and I combed my, it looked like I moosed my hair with the shit. So we're sitting there at the pool. And as the sun was going down, frogs just came out of fucking everywhere, dude. Frogs just like they were, we're around the pool on the cement. And I'm what the fuck? And the old guy standing there goes, those are going to be your best friends. Just wait. Because they I eat said, the bugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dude. When the sun goes down. The bugs come out like fucking brave heart battles, dude. They just come. The bugs just come. You never see the same bug twice. I did see one bug twice. I did see one bug twice, but generally 99.9999, the survival rate, you don't see the same bug twice. 95% of the bugs in the jungle have no name because they're always evolving. It's always some new shit. Dude, it was just, just a battle of the frogs and the insects. It was the show. This old right. man was saying, dude, wait till the show. Check this out. It's going to be insane. <laughs> and the, no bugs got near me, dog. No bugs, dude. I, I had like fucking like you had an aura. Six, I was six of, feet apart, yeah, dog. Yeah, they wouldn't so, even come near me, man. That's that deep social. That's that deep like nuclear energy. That deep social distancing, bro. That's what oh, you had, dude. Dude, I didn't get bit by one fucking bug. I bet but, not. But every night was hell. Because you were just nervous about it. Every night, I didn't have a fucking sleeping net. So I slept. I had sheets. All I had was sheets. I would wrap myself up like a fucking human burrito. And just, I could hear the bugs at night all over the fucking Yeah, that slapping, slapping place. stuff. And, but I, yeah, I hate had, that. I always have to take a piss at least once a night. You wake up. You wake up and take pisses at night? Or do you sleep all the way? Not through? yet. I, I sleep all night still. Damn, you're so lucky. How old are you? 32. Damn. But uh, so I, I had to wake up every night and every night was fucking pure hell. 
and the bathrooms. See, the guys that build the houses, they don't connect the walls. They don't. They don't care about bugs. They love the jungle. That stresses so me magical. out. The more the more you say it, the more stressed I am about it. The bathroom, the bathroom is. They got a beautiful shower, beautiful fucking knobs, beautiful mirror where you could brush your teeth, but it's all outside. Right. These motherfuckers love the jungle so much. They made their bathrooms outside. Can you imagine like the outside wall of your house? Like you're in your backyard and you see the wall. Imagine the wall with a shower on it and like a sink next to it. They want that shit outside. So I would open the fucking door. There's bugs everywhere, flying everywhere, but they wouldn't get on me, dude. They wouldn't get on me, but they were all over the fucking place. I just had a fucking the force. I had the fucking <laughs> off. It was off, dude. Extra strength. <laughs> I, I remember opening up the door one night and seeing this fucking half tarantula, half moth thing <laughs> on the wall, dog. I'm like, damn. And I had to take a piss real bad. And you just do it. You just fucking man up, dog. You man up and you just take a piss. Just don't take your eye. You don't know Those if he moves, if he moves. <laughs> yeah, I can. I'm ready, bro. And you like, you know, it's serious when you're willing to go cut midstream and, and stop peeing. That's like a level of a fear that most people don't normally have. Yeah, and everybody was like having the time of their life, except yeah, they didn't even one, care. But except one girl, she would scream at all the bugs. I would hear her on the other side of the mansion. She'd be screaming every time a bug. There was That's the girl you should have been talking to. Were, she would she wouldn't have judged you. You should have been talking to her oh, the no. whole time. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to talk to my boys' girl. So um, oh, okay. If she, if she was single, we would have fucking united, dog. We would have we would have got we would have changed our flights and been out. You want to use some of my D? Would have disappeared. <laughs> Hold <laughs> still. Let's go, Let's go to Vegas. Let's catch a fucking flight. Let's get the fuck out. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> oh, now yeah. It would have been a lot easier. You get me. <laughs> and then everyone kept talking about, I'm trying to make it through every night. I'm trying just... During the day was fine. During the day, to fuck, it took the ATV by the beach. I just hung hung out at the beach and just enjoyed this the light, the sunlight, the sunlight. So what if so what if there was a person in Costa Rica that built a house the way that we build houses in America, and then built it, you know, six feet off the ground too, so that none of the weird bugs can get in that way, and they actually made it airtight, and you had like those industrial systems you know when you open some doors to like a walmart it'll go shh and it'll blow really hard down so if any bugs try to get in it'll force them out what if there was that kind of a setup with paved roads okay with paved roads and like the perfect setup could you then move to costa rica or are you too scarred i would need one more thing i would need some kind of on all the windows all around all the any any opening to the porch of the house some kind of magnetic force that keeps the bugs out. So you can walk through it. You can't see it. It looks like you could just leave your window open. No screen, no screen. But there, the the windowsill is wrapped in some kind of magnetic force. Boom, where the bugs don't fuck with that little invisible magnetic shield. Right, like the then purple I'll thing. Move. The purple thing. Why? Why? Because you want to have open windows too. No, I just the. Mag bugs can't get through magnetic shields. Yeah, but I'm saying, why wouldn't you? Why would? Why would? Why does that? Th why is that a prerequisite? Why would you just keep your damn windows closed? Because that'll never happen. Because you like open windows. No, because that'll never happen. What do you mean? Because that'll never happen. There'll never be a magnetic force thing that I just described. So if that was the the, the final condition, that'll never happen, and then I'll never go to Costa Rica. They wanted to go find this. A hidden waterfall of paradise. The waterfall of paradise. We're all going to get our ATVs and we're going to drive like 30 minutes into the jungle down this path, by, go down this valley and hike through the river to find this, this magical waterfall. And then we're all about it. And we, there was a day set that we were all going to go. And I couldn't say anything. I, I couldn't say I ain't fucking going to no magic waterfall. I would have sounded like a big pussy. Right. You ain't going to the waterfall. I'm like, why wouldn't you go to the waterfall? What the fuck else? You can sit by the beach like you did the last three days. We're going to the magic waterfall. I couldn't say shit, but like, OK, let's go to this fucking magic waterfall. <laughs> so we're on our riding the ATVs was fucking fun. Sure. That was fucking fun. You put on your fucking goggles. <laughs> 
Yeah. That was cool. Um, but you, but at night is not cool. Yeah. So they wanted to find this magic waterfall. Right. So we're driving 30 minutes down these trails. I'm freaking the fuck. I'm going dude. we're going deeper and deeper. Into and you're just, you're the reason you're afraid is primarily just because of bugs, just bugs. Wow. Just bugs. When the sun's out, it's not bad, but this was at nighttime. No, but we went during the day. It was like, okay. Uh, one, two, something. Like so that. where's the panic kicking in? If you're, if it, during the so day, we get you to this, care. we get to this. So the guy leading the charge is this Mr. Jungle guy. He don't give a fuck about bugs. So he's just like, he's like Indiana fucking Jones, right? Right. And everybody loves him. He's like, the I automatically, nobody liked me because I, they could sense something was wrong. But You're I concerned. Talk about it. Yeah, you were yeah, concerned. They could sense the fear. So yeah. I, I did not get laid or I, I didn't connect with anybody. It was, just, <laughs> it was a complete failure. It was a complete waste of time. But I look back at it as a blessing in disguise because now I know never go to a jungle. So now I know that I had to get that out of my sure. System. So we, we get to this. We finally get to this like edge of this canyon and we we got to leave our ATVs there and hike down this valley that ends up all the way down. And there's a river. We go all and we're like, dude, what? we're in fucking thought like flip flops, doc, flip flops. A couple of the girls, the, the one girl that was scared of bugs. She was like a like a um, like a like a playboy playmate type chick, like super prissy, you know, um, you know, so we vibed, <laughs> we vibed. She was scared of bugs. I was scared of bugs. Um, she was complaining. I was, I kept, I kept it inside. So we're going down this valley. We're going to find this magical waterfall. We finally get down to the river. Now there's a fucking river. Now there's a little river. It's probably maybe 20 yards wide, maybe less than 20 yards wide, maybe 10, 15 yards wide, little river that you could like walk on and walk on rocks. And the guy leading the charge, like, fuck. I'm like thinking, how the fuck are we going to get back up? We got flip flops on. We're not prepared for hiking. Holy shit. And they're all so excited about this fucking, this magical waterfall. And I'm like, I'm ready to blow the fuck up and get the fuck out of there. Sure. I go, how the fuck are we going to get out of here? So we're following this guy. We're going through the river. We're walking upstream. It, it's, it's, it should be close. It should be close. We're walking upstream. I'm like, oh, my God. There could be an anaconda in this motherfucker. Like, I'm freaking <laughs> the fuck out. Dude, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, sure. Or fuck? a pit viper or something. Dude, that could be any kind of fucking snake. We're in the middle of the Costa Rican jungle, and we're in this river trying to find this waterfall and this guy i'm like dude you sure you know where you're going come on just follow me trust me it's worth it it's gonna be fucking paradise and we go up maybe i don't know maybe a mile or, or half a mile i don't remember but then he decides oh shit i think it's the other way i said right there as i fucking blew up right there I go, we're going the opposite way of the right way. <laughs> we're going the opposite way. You drove halfway across the country in the wrong direction. <laughs> you know, dumb and dumber. So I freaked out. So I made a stand, dog. I said, hey, listen, motherfuckers, the sun is going down. <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here. This guy don't know where he's going. I know where I'm going to go, dude. He doesn't know where we're going. We were going the exact opposite way of the right way. He wants to go the opposite way now. I'm getting the fuck out of here right the fuck now. And as soon as I said that, I made a stand. Dude, I made a stand. I had a fight for my rights. Yeah. I saw as soon as as soon as I said that, I look and there's this gigantic fucking tarantula spider thing right on the side of the rocks. <laughs> and I just went. Oh. <laughs> I jumped up and I said, later, I'm out. I fucking climbed up that it was like grassy and I'm just like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I'm like fucking mud everywhere. I'm like survival time, dude. I have mud all over myself. I get the fuck out. Everyone's just I look back and everyone's just standing there watching me. They're in the river. I'm like, I'm gone, dog. Fuck all y'all. I fucking do that. <laughs> Ass, dude, I climbed that canyon with flip flops. I got on my ATV covered in mud. Ah, ah, fuck you, ah. dude. And then finally, the morning we we were set to leave, 
I'm up at the crack of dawn, waking everybody up. Come on, guys, we ain't missing this motherfucking plane. Let's go. We ain't missing this shit. I woke up. Let's go. You need help packing this fucking go. Where's your bags at? Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was it. And you know what? And then nobody knew. Nobody knew my uh, my friend. I still talk to him all the goddamn time. Ed Clay. Uh, he owns a cancer hospital in Mexico. He, awesome, one of the greatest people that's ever lived. Uh, just a couple years ago, he's the one who invited me. Just a couple years ago, I told him the story. And he goes, "What? What?" No he has idea. all these pictures. He goes, "Dude, we, that was one of the greatest vacations of all time." What are you saying? I go, "I didn't tell you, dog, but inside I was dying." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah, tell you, yeah, bro. Pure fucking hell you put me through with this bullshit. All right? Never again. I learned my lesson. Don't fuck with jungles. I like the snow. I like snowboarding. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. In cabins, lighting a fire. No fucking tarantulas. That's what yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> that was the longest fourteen second version of a story I've ever heard, but it was. Was worth that too it. long? Was no. that too long? I, I thought it was going to be too long for you. I because you were like it would take forever, but I was like, well, give me the fourteen <laughs> second version. I could have gone. I could have gone on longer, but I gave you the bullet points. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake. Ah.